perfect good all right so i want to show you guys how you can contribute to the car classes repository on github it is a simple repository that just basically makes a map of the full car id or car name car class name that's in simhub and it converts it to a shorthand the example that we will be doing today is for the bmw m hybrid v8 which is a really long name and it's basically an lmdh class so i'll show you how you, how you guys can do it step by step um i know github is not something that you all are um familiar with but it shouldn't be something that can that should scare you i'm using the github desktop app i am not proficient at github as well i don't use github with its terminal commands and i'm not i'm not that kind of person right so i will just show you the steps as simple as i can think of them up front without having anything scripted um so let's go first off let me switch over to the camera so the first thing you need to do is identify the problem the problematic name so as you can see here in the dashboard in this is where the area you'd expect to see a class name but right now it says wm pa what is that essentially it is the car you are driving um in the replay because this is a replay i can i know it's a bmw m hybrid m hybrid v8 what we want to do is we want to go over here to the properties and find the car class so in simhub pull up the available properties and you will find in the car class a name bmw m power this is the name that um that iRacing is sharing with the dashboard and this is the this is the key that we want to convert into a, a shorthand so what you want to do is copy the value maybe you don't want to do it yet but that's what you want to do you want to copy that value and have it but maybe we can do that later a bit so the next step what you need to do is first off go and download github desktop let me find it it's a it's an application you can put on your computer the url is desktop.github.com download for windows you download it you install it you need to create an account on disk on github but that's no different than any other account you would create so there's nothing special there so once you have this application downloaded and installed on your computer the next step is to find the actual repository on github and it's under the lovely sim racing organization i'll put links in the separate video so you guys can find it and it's called lovely car classes so in here we have a, a some in some documentation i'll also put this video in here so you guys can see it but the important thing is once you're on this um on this repository you click on this button that says code and then open with github desktop click on that and it will automatically just pull it in this one can come to empty folders what is this error maybe i already exists hold on let me see because i already had it let me delete it because we're doing this step by step with you it already exists so i'm deleting that good right so again app is closed right now it's not even running i hit the button code and say open with github so i don't have this repository on my computer um the only repositories are these so you'll see what happens so i click on open with github desktop it will pull up github app it'll ask me this i say clone and it will basically bring up the it'll download everything that's on github into my computer and from here on this is the desktop application the github desktop let me make this a bit smaller now because we don't really need it and there's not much you can do on the site now what you do have now is through the app you have the lovely car classes on your computer and under documents github there is a folder lovely car classes in here there's a data folder that has the car classes json and this is where you guys need to pay a bit more attention it is again it's not going to be hard i'm using um well what is this vs code i think right so i just opened that file the json file and in here you have all of these mappings that i was referring to so what we need to do now is essentially add one more and what we need to do we need to do is basically copy this value and go down here and add it in the same exact format as you find this and 
call this LMDH. Okay. So we added it. That was pretty much the exact process of adding a brand new uh, mapping inside the car classes JSON. Now, what's next? You need to save this. The moment you save this in the desktop application, it'll let you know that you have made a change. Now, the simplest way to do this, you can commit directly, but obviously that's not what you want to do. You want to come up here where it says branches. You want to create a new branch and call this, I would call it the name of what you just uh, added, right? So no spaces are allowed. So BMW M power, you want to do that. You want to create this branch and bring the changes along with it, the changes that you just made. So you're switching branches. Now you're now in this branch, all right? The changes that you made, it shows you here that you added the LMDH and you added a comma on this line. Everything's fine. And here, just commit and say LMD, whatever, it doesn't really matter. And hit commit to BMW M power. Once you commit, you can publish this branch. And now this branch exists on the website. And I'll show you on the website here, it says just happened automatically. There is a new branch with uh, at BMW M power. So this is the branch that you just committed to. You, not me. You did this. In here, again in the app, you can do preview pull request. Hit that button. And this is what essentially will notify me that you have added something to this repository. And you do create pull request. And when you create pull request, it will take you to the website again. Everything's ready here. All you need to do is create a pull request. Okay? And you're done. That is all you need to do up until that point. I now will get a notification that says, oh, you know, Constantinos or whoever you are created this pull request, blah, blah, blah. And I will basically merge this into the actual repository. This is something that I do. When I merge this, it's done. If I go back to the root, and th that was it. That was the process. That's it. That's all you have to do. Nothing more. I did the, the rest part, the part of merging and confirming. Um, and I just did it right now because I'm the one committing and I'm doing everything. So it was just one, one flow. For you, it would end the moment you create that pull request. And now if we go to data, and this is the, the, this is the, the main branch now, if we go to data and look into the car classes, there it is, BMW Empower LMDH. It's already in there. So let's get rid of everything. Let me get rid of that and go back to SimHub. Now this will not work immediately. Um, actually, let me let me close SimHub and just do that demonstration because it will not work immediately. It needs to fetch the new URL. Um, closing it, closing it, good. And let's restart SimHub. And now most likely if everything works fine you will see lmdh instead of bmw m power in it simhub is restarting get a few seconds let's pull this up and the same exact replay should now show us well it's not loaded yet it will load though well trust me that's how it's done and it will load in fact, we can wait just a second until it does. Let me reload the dash. It should fetch it, but... Oh, there it is. Okay. I mean, it's right there now. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, you guys will be... Uh... Yeah, I mean, LMDH now is instead of seeing the BMW M power, and hopefully you will be contributing to this uh, database following the steps that I showed you. So, you know, GitHub Desktop... Um, clone it, edit, create a, a new branch, commit, and then request a pull, uh, basically do a pull request, and the rest is on me. That's all you need to do.